Spartan Lock. I have spent enough years with Oni to know the truth. Once this is over, after all I have done, they'll order you to kill us both. Team Osiris, over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to Infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Dama. If you have the opportunity... Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Dragon gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green. everybody welcome to the first mission of my halo 5 legendary walkthrough guide today we're doing the mission osiris and before we get into this engagement up here i kind of want to take this time to explain one of the new rule things i'm going to follow specifically for halo 5 and that is that just because we can get revived in this game i'm not taking that option so just in case i ever go down you guys won't ever actually know because i'm not going to include it but if i go down i treat that as a death so um this is what these will always be no death walkthroughs so i just wanted to make sure that that was clear um before getting into this but as you guys see this first area is really just a bunch of crawlers jackals uh we have one elite but he got absolutely murked by uh one of those crawlers so it's really just gonna be you with your magnum just walking around trying to take out these crawlers in the first part once you've run out of your magnum ammo 
you'll want to pick up a suppressor or a bolt shot. I choose a suppressor because the sustained DPS, but you could in any case just, like, it doesn't matter, honestly. But the reason why the suppressor is better, you do damage quicker. Um, two crawlers will always spawn up here, so make sure that you are aware. And then there's going to be two soldiers that spawn up here on this cliff. However, they're going to just keep running. So you don't even bother trying to take them out right now. You're just going to try to clamber up on top of these uh, on top of these ledges, scouring the cliffside. And then once you get to this part, Spartan charge through. And then there's going to be one soldier that's typically going to be like the first soldier that you face. And he's going to be the only one. Usually they both don't target you. Um, in any case, it do they do. It's kind of rare. Um, you can pick up this carbine here next to this data pad, or you can pick up the light rifle. I choose the light rifle because the light rifle's uh, better at taking uh, the light rifle. It's, I think, three or four shots to the face on a soldier. But I typically don't like using the light rifle because it doesn't really have a lot of ammo uh, on crawlers. So that's why I kept my battle rifle. The battle rifle would be pretty good uh, to, to clear out some of these crawlers. Now, this area is kind of, kind of rough, but it just really is the way to handle this is to kind of like stay on the edge you're going to want to keep all along this edge like you'll see me uh i start here and then i'm going to end on the opposite side uh where there's going to be more light rifle ammo so you're always going to want to stay where light rifle ammo is and um again just trying to make sure that we're using our light rifle to take out the soldiers whenever we see a crawler switch to your battle rifle or your magnum and clear them out so making sure we get some ammo before we move on. Trying to see if there's any other enemies. I think I... S there's a soldier right there. Trying to see if there's any other crawlers though nearby. Yeah, there we go. You can just take them out really fast. No point in switching. Got one more crawler right here. See how much ammo that I just wasted on that one crawler? That's why I switched to the battle rifle here. Because it's easier that you can get those pinpoint shots. Now, there's going to be more uh, soldiers that spawn in on the uh, plateau ahead of you. So, I think it's like two or three. And then there's more soldiers that spawn on the uh, ground level plateau. So, just make sure that you uh, are keeping them in uh, keep them in your mind whenever you're like in this area. Because they spawn on both sides. Again, just clearing out the final few soldiers here. There's some crawlers there on the very far side as you see them. I'm trying to... Like, really, it's just trying to make sure that you don't run out of like you're like t like basically you want like these really good shots on these soldiers because again light rifle ammo sometimes at, at a certain point will become difficult to find so you're gonna need to like hit your shots so got some more soldiers over here get some more ammo if we need it there we go now there's going to be a group of crawlers still down here, so make sure you take them out. And then there's going to be some soldiers that spawn in on the uh, on their little like platform right before you see that door. So they're going to be a, quite a few, so um, just make sure that you take out the crawlers before you go to the soldiers. So here are the soldiers. Um, after you defeat the first wave, there's going to be another wave that spawns in, and then there's going to be one more that spawns in after that. So you're going to be dealing with quite a few soldiers here uh, for, for a little bit. It's not that bad. You got plenty of ammo as well. So, there we go. Got soldiers just, like, trying to be aggressive. So, here's that next wave that I was talking about. Spawns in. Typically, it's a soldier captain. I don't know why it's, like, they just spawn in with a regular soldier. But, typically, you deal with a soldier, uh, a soldier captain. But, whatever. See this little data pad up here. Maybe I'll go into uh, data pads in a later video, but whatever. There's your two waves. So the first wave that we fought had already spawned in. That's why we didn't get uh, yet another wave. So you fight two. The first one already spawns in. Gonna analyze this. But yeah, uh, this is kind of... like I mean, this is probably gonna be as easy as uh, a mission goes in, in Halo 5. So um, blue team, when we get to that one, that one's kind of... That one's kind of tough because you have a lot of, uh, it, it, it's just a little bit more difficult. Like, you got hunters and everything like that. Alright, so in this next area, it's going to be you fighting up, basically you fighting up the hill. And it's going to be kind of, it, it, this, is what, this part I think is the hardest part in the entire level. But 
if you stick to the edge, it's not that bad. So here we, I, you can get an achievement by keeping this elite alive. I just, since it's legendary, I didn't want to bother. Um, but basically from this point, you're just going to use your light rifle and stay kind of within this little, like, this little cove. And as you start to take out enemies, slowly start to inch out, making sure that you only take out enemies that you see in your line of sight. Don't try to, like, chase them down. Just stay back. Be, uh, be pretty passive, but you, you don't want to be, like, uh, slowing, slowing down. You want to still keep moving forward. So tr if you, if one angle isn't working, try to find a different angle that you can approach this at. So I saw that there was, uh, some enemies over here. So I'm trying to decide, like, how do I want to approach this? Uh, thankfully, sometimes your friendlies, like, uh, Buck here, uh, are pretty useful and they'll stun the enemy. You could use the uh, squad command um, buttons on your D-pad to like order them to like target the same thing that you want uh, that you want targeted. You could. Uh, sometimes they just get themselves killed, and sometimes like it, it just doesn't work. Like the AI is not really that helpful. Like I, Marines in this in this game to some extent are more helpful, which is crazy because there's no Marines usually. So there's that. But, uh, going through the, uh, the barrier, going up here, you're going to get more light rifle ammo. And you also have a good vantage point uh, over a lot of the other enemies here. Not to mention, like, there's very much, there's not really any enemies up here so long as you take out the one soldier that was up here with the uh, splinter turret. Trying to take out that crawler. Almost out of ammo for this uh, battle rifle, so we're going to definitely pick up a, probably a scatter shot. I think there's a scatter shot in this... Uh, in this thing right here. There we go. Switching to our battle rifle. Um, trying to see if there's... There's a lot of enemies that spawn up this hill. Just trying to take them out. So, once you get up here, you're going to deal with quite a bit of soldiers still. Like, here was uh, panic mode. <laughs> there was a soldier right underneath me. Trying to go through this barrier. Can get a... Bolt sh no, there was a scatter shot. There we go. Um, we're going to use a scatter shot quite a bit on the soldiers, but basically this part right here sucks because there's two soldiers on uh, splinter turrets. They will target you. You get burst down with, like, if, if you get targeted by both splinter turrets, like hit, you will go down. So um, just make sure that you try to target the uh, the soldiers on the splinter turrets first before you before you push up and try to utilize a uh, natural natural cover to like prevent yourself from getting hit and you could also kind of use your squad here kind of like as uh, as cannon fodder let them take all the let them take all the punishment poor buck over there just got like shellacked by that uh, by that turret there we go some, sometimes even if you don't kill the soldier on the turret, if you just like hit the turret enough times with your uh, with your light rifle, it will just be broken and they won't be able to do anything. Like the AI isn't smart enough to just pick it up. Got a few. Here we go. He decided to get all up close and personal, so scatter shot time. There's not that many. There's there's quite a few soldiers still. Um, at a certain point, we're just gonna have to like be aggressive because. Running low on this light rifle. Uh, still one up there. There we go. I wish that my, my friendlies would, like, help. But, I mean, I guess it's fine, considering they're kind of distracting the enemy. About two to three more soldiers. Got one more right here. Scatter shot time. Scatter shot's nice. Not gonna lie. Oh, there was one more soldier. There he is. I have no idea where this guy like just randomly came from. He wasn't even targeting me. But once you fight everything out, so once you fight up this hill, like it's not that much more difficult. It actually gets really easy. You just have to take out. Um, you have to take out a few knights and a little bit of the covenant, and really they are just a bunch of grunts. Like it's I think two knights and a few soldier, uh, a few crawlers. No soldiers, but you will have to deal with uh, some elites. But thankfully, if you let the knights do do their thing, the, the knights will take care of them. Alright. So, this part right here, you're going to essentially just stay over here. You're not going to really... Um, you're you're going to want to stay near the ammo. You have a lot of light rifle ammo, so stay in this doorway. 
because if you go into the into the arena, you will basically have a ton of. Um, basically, you won't be able to go back and get this ammo. So again, three knights, a little bit of crawlers. The best thing about Halo Five was that they revamped the knights, so they're much easier to kill, and they also don't just like teleport away. So um, take you. <laughs> I mean, there's there's some good things to say, but. I always try to hit the right or left shoulder. If you see, if you take out one of their uh, pieces of armor, sometimes they put, they reveal their face, and then you can easily take the, uh, finish them off. Like, and then if you destroy enough of their armor, it, you can just shoot them in the face. It's super simple. Got one more knight, handful of crawlers. If you are patient, just like that, you take out a piece of his armor. He gets all mad at you, and you can finish him off because he re he reveals his face. So, again, the knights in this are much easier than the ones in Halo 4. And they also are weaker, so. Uh, once you finish taking out the remaining crawlers, that is it for uh, Osiris. That's, well, there's still one more. I'm trying to find where this uh, this crawler is. Oh, there's, there he is right here. There's like the one more. There he is. So that's it, guys. That was Osiris on Legendary Difficulty with no deaths. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time for Blue Team. Thank you guys for watching. What is the problem? There are several. Would you like to discuss the finer points of casual reconciliation? Oh, human sarcasm. So you have learned something from me, Julie. You claim to be able to access... And I can. However, I did not claim to be able to access it instantaneously. Seems your fingers are an open rebellion, Han. Enough! Hey, good looking. Eyes on target. This location does not serve my needs. When she makes another transmission, I must triangulate. I tire of this doctor. You have been chasing shadows for weeks to no avail. Captain Lasky would like a word with you. It took you long enough. 